channel office yoga office yoga is for all my friends and co-workers and people who very often for a longer period sitting on a desk working typing writing reading computing or doing some handwork yes while you're sitting on a chair so if you do that for a longer period per day you have a high percentage of one of the same posture. I mean, even sitting with no, no muscles in it, whatever it is, is a posture. That means you are forming your body in a certain direction because you keep this pose. That's what we do in yoga. We try to hold a pose to strength or to, to support some muscles for a certain standing, balancing, just for staying healthy in our body as long as possible. So what the thing with sitting is, everybody knows, or maybe have already, some stiffness or some things that come back again and again, maybe some joints you feel stiff, or your neck, or back muscles, or you have maybe already kind of like short breathing situation because of your body is collapsing to the front. Other things are lower back pain because your lower back is kind of like gliding away into the back of your seat, maybe shoulders or... So let's say that there are five to ten typical, typical things that come out of a, not a wrong sitting posture, but let's say a sitting posture that should need some contractions after, while, before work, or sometimes just pick out one or two exercises I'm gonna present you just for, for your better feeling. But what we usually do, because I'm talking as a clerk, as an office person, I'm usually working on a desk, at a desk, I mean on a chair. So I know what stiffness means, what kind of like sitting and kind of like hypnotized by the screen and not blinking with the eyes, not moving anymore. I know what it means. So what we usually do, we do after that and we feel stiffness, we do a quick movement or something to, to feel better. But that's not good because we should slowly do that with awareness. But what we usually do when our hand is kind of like stiff or kind of even cramping a bit, we start to shake it away. It's so wrong because all these muscles are tensed for a certain reason. And when we shake it away, we spontaneously, like a shock, we tear it. No good. So we should do work slowly with awareness into the stiffness. And that's these tiny and easy and very light light um, movements and exercises I want to show you. I would say most of them you know already and I'm pretty sure I promise minimum three of them gonna be your postures. You're gonna do maybe on a daily basis because it's exactly the contraction you need for your personal individual thing you want to support while you're working after 
or in between. So we're gonna start a series now. I present some easy postures and the next, the next show will be maybe a bit more complicated or we focus a joint or the neck or the back. So also if you need something, some, a show for a certain focal point in your body, just mail me. And if you like the show, subscribe please, like it or send me any questions and I always offer, I also offer individual tutorials, individual yoga classes on Skype for just like four eyes if you need a really individual training. Just PM me, just send me an SMS or sorry, an email. Let's start. First of all, sitting. Let's start with sitting. So usually we sit here, lean back, and maybe the legs are here, sometimes here, or here even. So it's very normal. So what usually happens with everybody, the shoulders are falling to the front. And if you are not only computing, also kind of like reading, your head is also falling in front. So your, your spine and the upper back is really much rounding. And so do all the muscles, uh, just like, not stretched, but just like getting longer and longer without any power. And here on your chest area, everything is shrinking and hardening. So it's, it's getting harder and harder to get your back straight and your shoulders back. I know, because now you really need power to do that because this is a normal tendency. And when you stand up, you can hold that. What, what everything happens with that. So the head is heavy, hanging to the front, your upper spine is rounding and rounding much more, your lower back yeah, is trying to, to make the balance, has a lot, of, a lot of pressure, can also hurt, your hip is moving, your legs, so everything follows just by it because your straight point to the ground is a bit out of balance easy to do something against it. So just like for the postures, I would recommend don't sit back on your chair, try to go a bit to the front of the chair, as far as you can go without, without having an imbalance in the chair. So I try to, I like to sit on my sit bones, I feel my sit bones, then I grab my chair and I just push my hip a bit to the front, but my hip bone still pushing into the seat. So my hip is going from this direction to this direction. I show it without arms. From this direction to this direction. Yeah. So you just like take your belly out of there to the front. And now you have a straight lower back. Hmm? Then you can put your hands on your knees. See that your feet are placed under your knees and your knees are slightly open. And if you are too small for the chair, sometimes it happens, put a book under your feet, right? So these, your thighs should be parallel to the ground. This is always good while you sit. And sit to the front also helps your thighs here. Yeah? To have good good blood here. Sometimes it's pressed. Check that. Then put the feet on the ground. Heels are exactly below the knees. Just put your hands on your knees and look to the front. And we start with a very silent and simple exercise with the eyeballs. So everything is still, your body is still, your feet, your hat doesn't move, only your eyeballs move. So your eyeballs go, to, you look exactly straight into my direction. Now the eyeballs go up and down, up and down, and up, and down, and 
eyeball to the center. Now your eyeballs go to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, and to the center. Now diagonal. The eyes go right up, left down, right up, left down, right up, left down, and center. Left up, right down, left up, right down, left up, right down, and center. Now we circle around. Eyes up, right up, right, right down, down, left down, left, left up, up, other direction, left up, left, left down, down, right down, right, right up, up, and center. Now take your hands and rub your palms against each other until your hands become very warm. Your palms, you feel like a bit heat. Then form your hands like shells and put it over your eyes with an air gap between your hands and your eyes. But just like shielding. Hold it over your eyes and feel the warmth getting into your eyes and relax your eyes with this hand warm air and relax. This is a very good, good uh, exercise after hours of hypnotized by Excel charts, for example. The next one is also very easy. Remember, see how you sit. We're gonna help your spine a bit to get a bit more flexible, to lose a bit stiffness, but it's very easy. So you put your hands on your knees and you hold your knees with your fingers, yeah? Like claws around your knees. And with an ex exhalation, you let your body collapse to the front. That means you get a round back and your head is falling down. And when you inhale, you put first your belly out, your chest, your neck up and your head. Exhale, round back, head is falling to the front, very round back, all air out. And when you inhale, start to stretch your body. Put your belly out, your chest out, tuck your chin and hold it. Don't put your head back now. Exhale, round back. Everything falling to the front. Inhale, stretch up, belly out, chest out. Tuck your chin and hold it. Really, everything comes out here in the front. Shoulders are back. Exhale, round back, head is falling. Inhale, roll up, shoulders back, tuck your chin, and go on in your own rhythm. Try to synchronize your movement and inhalation, exhalation. Try to find the point where you inhale and exhale normally and moving normally, whatever it means for you today. Don't press yourself in a certain breathing rhythm. Invite yourself into a certain breathing rhythm. And you can do that longer and longer. So the more, the more often you do it, the more easy you know the speed of your movement and your inhalation, exhalation. 
and breathing is every day different as always depending on your momentarily mood this is cat and cow we do that on the ground or on the floor but it's very easy to do that on, on your seat the next one is we first have to heat up a bit this shoulder chest and back area before we can kind of like do and stretch and flex it because some sometimes it's very stiff so we first want to warm it up and then we can really bend it and 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 twist it in every direction without without harm first warming up then stretching and flexing okay control your seat see how can you how can you sit straight without too much effort and if this is really not working for you and it's too much effort lean back yeah everything comes but try to find your your stamina try to find your power you have power try to motivate it and not to force it I'm sitting straight and stretching my arms to the front so I see that my hands are almost shoulder height and my shoulders go to the front my arms are stretched and I just pull my shoulders back pull my shoulders back and down it's a very minimal movement yeah? try to do the opposite keep your arms stretched to the front palms looking to each other fingers looking straight in my direction so just like try to push your arms into my direction and pull your arms your shoulders back with your straight arms and push your shoulders down and even try to push your shoulders more back there's still kind of like a feeling it could be an inch more half an inch but keep it wherever it is keep your arms and next time we count until 30 so keep that as long as possible after a while you feel your upper arms or your shoulders really getting warm so what we do is we are compressing our shoulder joints to give them more stability for osteoporosis in your shoulder this is one of the postures all experts recommend compressing the joints we do it with this posture so we are not flexing we are compressing and our shoulder blades try to hold with their muscles on the spine we are building up muscles there and whenever you need to to drop that posture do that and then you can just like drop it and swing your arms in there back and forth this was one direction the next direction goes to the sides so the same thing to the side is i try to see that my hands are shoulder height and not behind my body we do that later and not in front of my body try to see your arms are going very straight out of your shoulders and try to push your even your hands your fingers out of your shoulder really as if somebody would would pull on your hands from right and left direction stretch the arms out and now the opposite bring the arms in so try to as if your shoulders were sucking your arms in yeah try to it's just like an inch movement but don't lift your shoulders your shoulders are down your shoulders are very down your arms are out and then imagine your shoulders are sucking your arms in try to show from this direction pushing my arms out and now in just like in it's just an inch or maybe two inch movement same thing shoulders in and try to hold it here as well it's also a very good compression compression exercise for people with osteoporosis and with weak shoulders 
We are building up muscles exactly around the joint. So that it keeps your shoulder safe in the socket and it's building up muscles where you need it. So every second counts. As long as you can hold it. After a while, believe me, you can hold it for 30 seconds. And this is the aim. Hold it as long as you like. And then after a while, when it's enough, drop it. And swing the arms like feathers back and forth. And now, the last direction we can do with our arms, we stretch our arms up, palms looking, palms looking in each direction. What usually happens, let's do that first, we push our arms up and our shoulders, and my upper arms are almost hitting my ears. Now keep your arms stretched, but only push your shoulders down. Arms are stretched, but shoulders are down. Do the opposite. Stretch your arms, shoulders up. Keep your arms stretched and only shoulders pushing down. As if your shoulder blades pull your shoulders on your back down. And try to keep your arms, let's say, beside your ears. Not too much to the front and not much to the back. But keep it, keep it push, yeah? Keep the strength, keep this shoulders pushing down. Keep that. Hold it, the same thing, as long as you like. Every second counts. One day you can do it 30 seconds. And if it's enough, slowly let your arms drop and swing them back and forth. You feel some heat? You have some water beside you. It was a quick warming up to be prepared for the next a bit more um, flexing and twisting postures, but never start with flexing and twisting. First heat them up and then you can better bring them in all directions without harm. The next one is to support your neck. And the neck has a tendency, I make it quick, to hang to the front. We spoke about that, right? And uh, what we usually have is kind of like this head falling to the front, but we want to look up, so we have our round neck, and then we look up. <clears throat> so we punch our neck here in this part, right? So therefore I'm always telling, tuck your chin. Tuck your chin means as if you kind of like hold your two fingers on your chin and just push your head, your chin back. Until you almost have no chin anymore. Yes, I know, but nobody sees that. It's good for your spine. So this is straightening your neck. But to do this without your fingers automatically, we need strength and power here. This posture helps. So push yourself again a bit to the front of the chair. Try to see if you can still sit straight. Then put the palms of your hands together. Stretch your arms over your head. Inhale. And when you exhale, Bring the hands behind your head and bring the, your, your joints, the wrists pushing in the back of your head. Yeah? Fingers looking away from your head. Wrists are pushing into the back of your head. And what happens, your head comes to the front. So what you first do is you push your head back. You tuck your chin. Your back of your head is pushing back and against your wrists. And now you also bring your elbows back. Elbows back and still push with your head against your hands. And bring the elbows back. And stay here and breathe into this posture. Every second counts. 
you're building up good muscles in your neck, hold it. Inhale into that. Exhale. As long as you like that, slowly get out of it. Stretch your arms up and let them swing like feathers. Intense posture, but it's like a posture without movement. It's steady posture. So you find your edge and when you find your edge, you hold it for a while. And the, the more often you do it, the easier and the longer you can hold it and the more it brings relief. Next one everybody knows as well. So I'm gonna start with a side that is not so easy for me. So we have one arm behind our back and the other arm getting over our hat and trying to catch the hands. If you can't catch the hands, just catch and pull over. Just hold something you can grab. You don't have to, you have to find your hand. You can grab your pullover. You can even hold it here because your individual flexibility is what we are working with and not with my flexibility and not with anybody else. It's about you. So you decide how far you can go and the posture is fine here when, when you end with your arms here and you really stretch your back and you bring the upper arm as much back as you can and then you feel kind of like you are stretching this muscle. You are stretching the other one. You are stretching your shoulder on a positive way. Fine. There's no reaching a posture. Yeah? You reach a posture when you feel fine with it. But give your body the chance to adjust and to find what is, where is the edge and how can I adjust the posture to make it suitable for me. So I start with the other arm. I start with my right hand behind my back. And my left arm would go over my head, but what I first do, because my, when I put my right arm behind my back, I need to get my right hand on my spine to the center, otherwise I cannot catch it. So what I do, I have my right arm behind my back, and I take my left arm behind my back, and try to pull my right elbow to this more to the center of my back. And then I try to walk with my right hand between my shoulder blades. So this is a bit more complicated. But when I'm almost there, then I can bring my left arm over my head and grip, even grab my fingers. It took me some years, to be honest. So grab your pullover when you don't hit your fingers. So now I'm holding it. And now the next thing is, bring your left elbow, because the left elbow has a tendency to hang down, bring your left elbow behind your head or behind your left ear. So you're stretching your back and you really give your shoulder and your upper arm, your, your armpits uh, highly stretched and inhale and Oh, exhale loudly into this posture when you want. And slowly relax, very in slow-mo. Remove your arm out of, the, out of the posture and make a contra twist. Oof, this is a very intense one for me. The other one is easy. So, left arm behind my back. My left hand, my left arm, just gets it without any help to the center of my spine, not even with a kind of like a feeling of stretch. This is the other side. Right arm over the hat, grabbing fingers or grab your pullover. And then try to bring your right elbow behind your hat, behind your ear. That means you're automatically sitting straight, taking your hat back, and you feel the stretch in your right armpit. You feel the stretch in your left shoulder. It should not be a piercing, horrible feeling, but it can be kind of like tickling or a bigger field of stretching feeling. 
And when you have enough, slowly remove your arms out of this posture and make an anti twist. Wow, still there. We did these guys and the opposite posture and then we have done all around this front and back of our shoulders. The eagle pose. We should never go out without an eagle pose. So I'm sitting straight, opening my arms to the side and this time I also put my, my fingers pointing back and then I put my arms a bit behind my shoulder line, hmm? a bit more back as as straight out. So back, tuck your chin and then remain with your back in your head, just your arms coming to the front, in front of your chest, left arm is up, right arm is down and then with your elbows you just like turn around your arms and even when you only can go here or here, doesn't matter, try to bring your arms together in front of your chest and try to mingle them up that you can hold them like this or half of the turn of the turn around each other right if you can hold it drop your elbows exhale and when you inhale push up your arms straight your back push up your arms straight to the ceiling and not behind your head straight to the ceiling slowly as high as you like. Hold it a moment. Inhale deeply into your shoulder blades. You feel weird, right? And when you exhale, slowly lower your elbows and open this knot. Bring the fingertips back and push your arms back and tuck your chin. And exhale, arms meeting in front of your chest. Now right arm is up left arm is below, elbows and turning around each other, exhale round back, elbows down, inhale straight back and fingers, hands, elbows go to the ceiling, see that they are not going behind your head, they go to the ceiling straight up, as high as you can, there's your edge, if you find your edge, hold it, and breathe deeply exactly where you feel where you feel it um, most intensely in your shoulder blades or shoulders and then slowly drop your elbows open your arms to the side fingers pointing back tuck your chin and relax just maybe swing your arms And give it a slight easy relaxation. What is next on my list? Oh yes. And now we can see to, to um, make a bigger range for our shoulders. Yeah? To intensify the horizon how our shoulders can turn in this and that direction. Because we first compress the muscles close to our joints to build up stamina and strength. Then we started to stretch it slowly one in this direction and now we try to twist it. So I push my arms to the side, palms facing down, shoulders are down, I'm sitting straight. Both palms turning in my direction, both palms are turning up maybe back. Palms are turning up into my direction, palms down, palms back and maybe palms up. Other direction, palms back, down, front, up, back, up, front, down, back, oh maybe up and back, down, front, up, back. Now the left arm remains where it is and the right arm alone turns to the front, down, 
back, up. Now change the arms. The right arm is turning back, the left arm is turning to the front. And make your own speed. And give your shoulders also kind of like the feeling they are massaged. What this is, is a facial, facial massage for your shoulders, your neck and your upper back muscles and the fascia that is usually getting stiff from sitting and reading. Do that as long as you like and drop it. Left thing, the wrists and then we're done with the arms. Arms out, fingers pointing up. Oh, there's my other hand. Fingers pointing up. And now I roll my fingers in to have a, almost a fist, but not a fist with full rolled fingers, just like I just put the tip of my pinky finger on my palm, then my ring finger, the next finger, index finger, and thumb over the fingers, both hands. And then I just push my slowly or my move my my fist slowly down fist up fist down keep your fingers very tight to your palm and then you can start to roll maybe in both directions however you feel give your wrists a good massage you're gonna feel it everywhere i feel all the tendons and ligaments in my lower arm around my wrist and if you can't do it anymore, drop slowly. And if you like, fold your fingers and make the wave. For all legs break dancers, very easy. Make a wave. And this one for your wrists. And I can drop everything. And so to give our head a bit more relieving feeling, we also should not do in the beginning when we feel kind of like we have a problem with the shoulder view in a car. We try to, to tear our head in this direction and it's usually not good because it has a certain reason why I can't move my head to the right. And it's not that I can force it. I have to motivate my head first massaging, make it kind of like warm it up and then I, we can move it. Let's see how we, how we can move our heads now. So put the hands on your knees. Straight your back. And very simple, just move your head to the right until you look over your right shoulder to see the side cam. And slowly turn your head to the left. Try to find out your edge and slowly turn your head back. And imagine there's a half circle line exactly in your eye height. And you just follow that line. So you don't look up, not down. Just follow that line. And now add the breathing to it. Let's say you exhale to the right and then you inhale to the left. Exhale to the right and inhale to the left. And last time, exhale to the right, inhale to the left and to the center. Was it more than usual? Now we do kind of like we want to stretch the muscles that go directly behind our ears over our shoulders. We usually feel from having heavy backpacks, what I usually have, or in winter we are putting our shoulders to the ears, or telephoning on one side and forgetting the other side, or lying on the 
on the partner's chest while, while falling asleep, but they're always on the same side. There's thousands of reasons why these muscles especially can be so stiff and stucky and then you can move your head. We do something. We warm up and now sit straight. Both arms go over the head, looking to the ceiling. My right hand falling onto my head. I feel my fingers on my left ear. Right hand on my head, left finger is hitting my uh, left ear is hit by my fingers. <laughs> Can you follow? Then I slowly take my head on my right shoulder and drop my left arm to the ground. And then I push my left shoulder to the ground and I keep my head as close to my right shoulder as possible. But my head is not in the front and not in the back. Just like left shoulder pushing down, head to the right. Inhale into the neck and exhale and loop and give your head free. Both arms overhead, other side. Left hand is landing on your head. The fingers of your left hand are no, just like feeling your ear. When you exhale, you pull your head to the left and your right arm is slowly falling down. And then your right shoulder is pushing into the ground and your head is pulled onto your left shoulder. But don't lift your left shoulder, you're right? Only your head goes to your shoulder, not your shoulder to your head. Right shoulder goes down and head goes to the left. And slowly remove your hands. Cool. There's another muscle, very important to stretch. We do it immediately now. It's almost the same, but just my head is not, my ear is not going to the shoulder, but slightly to the front. Let's say before we had three o'clock and nine o'clock, and now we go on 10 o'clock and two o'clock. That means both arms goes up. Left hand landing on my head, left fingers first touching my upper ear, and then my hand goes a bit behind my head. So my fingers are between, my, between the back of my head and my ears. My arm goes a bit more back. And then I pull my head on 10 o'clock and my arm is in the total opposite behind me. And see where you need it. You can exactly see where you had to have to pull your head and where you have to pull your shoulders. And slowly remove everything. Hands up, arms up, other direction. Right hand is landing on your head. Fingers reaching the top of your ear. Fingers go behind your ears. So it's kind of like between the back of your head and your ears. And now I try to pull my hat on uh, two o'clock and my arm goes back in the other direction behind me with my shoulder back and down and my head to the front. And slowly remove arms up and arms down. With this posture, with this uh, exercise, you need some time to feel exactly where it's good and where it doesn't bring anything. That also has to do with your shoulder and your head. So these two muscles are the major, the major ones who get stiff in office work and on desk.
And now we just do it. It's very simple head back and forth. We didn't start with a head back because we don't want to punch our neck. But now we train our neck already a bit. So I sit straight, bring my shoulders back and tuck my chin. When I exhale, I just let my head drop to the front, but I don't move my shoulders, not my back, just my head. My head drops to the front. Then I look up. First, tuck my chin. And then I slowly can look up or even back. Slowly look up. Look to the front. And let your chin and your head fall to the front. When you inhale, slowly look up. Tuck your chin and then slowly let your head drop to the back if you like that. Slowly look to the front, let your head slowly drop. Inhale, lift your head. When you look into my direction, tuck your chin and then slowly look back or up. You can go on if you like. Very important, this tiny thing, therefore I'm repeating it. Before you drop your head to the back, always remember you have to straight your neck before you put your head back. Otherwise you're punching your vertebras here, up in your neck. So, and you can straight your neck easily when you remember this, two fingers pushing your chin back. From this, from turtleneck to straight neck. And then you can roll your head back because nothing is punched anymore. Easy, simple, but it, it can really do a difference. Try that. What we have else? Oh, we, we almost did it. Okay. Let your arms drop. And let's roll the shoulders back. Both shoulders up back and down. Go your own circles and try to combine it with inhalation and exhalation. Shoulders are to the front. Inhalation, shoulders are back. Exhalation, shoulders to the front. Inhalation, shoulders back. And reverse the direction. The same. Try to Bring breathing into every movement and try to concentrate and focus on the shoulders and your breathing. Try to feel all the bones and muscles that are engaged. And if you want to both shoulders in different, not different directions, but <laughs> in a different uh, time lapse and back. And stop and just lift your shoulders close to your ears, very close. And don't drop it. Slowly go down and push your arms down and your shoulders down. And relax. This was intense, but it was very important to first start here to get a kind of like a good feeling that you can move, breathe better, maybe move your head better. Try to find out if you feel more stiff after these, these exercises, maybe you did too much. Or try to adjust it a bit, or just ask me, maybe you have an idea what you can change. And the last one is a nice twist for the middle of our body. You can sit back if you want, or again, remain seated to the front, wherever you feel comfortable now. Stretch your arms overhead, inhale. With the exhalation, turn your view to the right and your shoulders and drop your arms to the right. Inhale, arms up, you turn to the center, to the left, arms drop to the left. Inhale, arms up, to the center, to the right, exhale. Inhale, arms up, to the center, to the left, and arm 
arms down, exhale. Inhale, arms up to the center. Exhale, arms down to the right. Arms up with inhalation, center, left, exhalation. Go on in your own breathing style. Just only turn your upper body to the right and to the left. And drop your arms to the right and to the left. But don't let your body collapse. Just your arms are sinking down on the right and left side of your chair. And to the center and relax. And we close this uh, nice little exercises for desk work, for sitting, sitting work people uh, with a cat and cow again, but with it with a slight adjustment that is a bit more active and needs a bit more stamina. We just build up already. So I invite you for this closing posture. When you inhale, bring your arms back and chest is out, fingers pointing back, chin is tucked. Exhale, round back, make fists and let your fists hit in front of your head, in front of you, stretched arms. Inhale, chest out, belly out, fingers pointing back, chin tucked. Exhale, fists, round back, fists are hitting each other in front of your head. And inhale, arms back, fingers pointing back, chin is tucked. Exhale. Round back, fist hitting in front of your head. Inhale. And you can also again go with your own speed and with your own rhythm type and maybe with your own hands and arms movements. It can be like swings of a bird. So we don't have to be too robotic as I sometimes do that. You know? Find your own your own rhythm, your own elegance and grace in these postures. And when you're fine, drop your arms. Move your head a bit, your shoulders. And if you still want to do something for your legs, the last one, push yourself very deep back into your chair. Take your left knee and put your left foot on the seat. Then hold your left shin with your arms or just hold with your hands and stretch your back. As if you really pull yourself, your chest and your belly against your thigh. Hold yourself. Or you can just like embrace it. Hold your hold yourself so tight on your on your shin on your leg that you can straight your back. Hmm? Straight your back. And if you want, stretch your right leg to the front with the with the <coughs> heel first, and the toes are pointing in my direction. Hold it, and you feel your kneecap. Is, is pulled to, to your thigh, right? Make it very hard. Really, you feel that everywhere. Your entire leg is really tensed. While you're holding on your left, left knee and your back is straight. Hold as long as you like. Then drop it and shake your leg. And put your left knee down together with your foot. And shake it if you like. Now we take the other leg, the right foot, try to find a good place for your right foot on your seat. Then you can also embrace your right leg, your right knee. Stretch your back while you're really holding, holding your right knee. And you feel your thigh on your belly, your chest. 
stretch your back, straight your back. And now, if you want, stretch your left heel to the front, toes pointing in my direction, and really try to make your left leg straight as possible. Your kneecap is pulling into this direction. Your thigh is very hard. Everything, your entire leg is engaged. Hold yourself. Every second counts. Hold as long as you like. And if it's enough, drop that leg. Pull the other knee on the ground or release your legs and shake it. I hope you had some, some fun and some postures gave you kind of like a very good feeling. Maybe some postures didn't work. Maybe next time, or maybe it's not yours. Sometimes you need some adjustments, but some postures I'm pretty sure are, are hitting, hitting the ground and you may be gonna repeat it. So let's, let's finish uh, this session with a tiny autogenic, autogenic journey through the body I usually do in the morning or in the evening or when I cannot sleep just to bring everything, just to thin out my, my spreading mind, thinning out concentration on my body and just sometimes saying hello to different body parts. I haven't said hello since a while, right? So it's very easy. If you can still sit straight, sit straight. If you want to sit comfortable, lean back. However, important is you try to focus on your body. And when, you, when we are ready, I'm not talking anymore. I just uh, leave you in silence for a couple of minutes, three, four minutes, and then I wake you up with a trailer and there's no, no me anymore with the trailer and you can extend your relaxation as long as you like. Hope you like the show. Subscribe if you like, like it if you like or write me any comments or questions you have. This was the first series of the office yoga exercises I think Oh, it's a collection of, of exercises we learned in workshops. It's physiotherapy, yoga, pilates, and sports medicine. I hope you enjoyed it. Some more shows coming up and hope to see you soon. And now I'm silent and guide you through this tiny body journey. Have a good night, have a good relaxation. I close my eyes and I first say thank you to my body. Thank you. You are my best friend. And as I like you so much, I gave you some massage and some attention. And now you can relax. I relax my feet, my toes, my ankles and my soles, my calves, my shins. I relax my knees, my thighs, my hip. I relax my belly, my chest, my shoulders, my neck, my spine, my shoulder blades. upper back, mid back, lower back and bird
vertebras. I relax my hands, my fingers, my palms, my wrists. I relax my lower arms, my elbows, and my upper arms. I relax my face, my chin, my lips, I relax my teeth, my tongue, my jar. I relax my nose, my eyes, my eyebrows. I relax my forehead and my ears. I relax my head, my skull, my brain, my thoughts, my mind, and my spirit. my body, my mind, and my brain.